welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name's Erica um, take a second to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, I post beauty lifestyle um, videos every Tuesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so definitely stay tuned for those before I get into the video I did just want to throw out a reminder about my 100 subscriber um, subscriber uh, giveaway so the giveaway is going to include the Violet Voss Essentials Palette and the Hank and Henry Eyeliner. All you have to do is head over to my giveaway alert video, like that video, comment on the video, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Once I reach 100 subscribers, I will randomly pick a winner for the giveaway. So today's video is going to be um, a full face Friday. So if you did not catch my video that I posted yesterday, I am doing a lot of changes to my channel, trying to do some improvements. Um, I'm trying to post videos that are more like one theme, basically. So Thursdays I'll do a get ready with me. Friday will be full face Friday. And um, I'm still working out the kinks on the other days. But today is going to be a full face of affordable makeup. So this is going to be some of my favorite makeup products that I have that are affordable, that you can get at a drugstore. Um, and it's going to be literally a full face. So everything from like my primer all the way to my setting spray. So we're just going to go jump right into it. Um, first, like always, I'm going to go in with my Believe Beauty Concealer so I can prime the eyes. And I am so sorry about the fact that I have not been using other concealers. Um, Believe Beauty Concealer is, I believe it's $4 at the Dollar General. And it has been my favorite concealer ever, ever since I picked it up. So I'm just going to use that to set the eyes really quickly. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this cute little LA Colors palette that I found. I found it also at the Dollar General. It looks like this, and this was literally $1. Um, I got it a couple of weeks ago, I think, and I've used it a few times, and it really has the best quality. Um of any like cheap $1 palette that I have ever tried. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to go in with my big blending brush here and I'm going to go into this lightest shade, which the shades don't have names. Let's see, the palette name is Bear It All though. And I'm just going to go in and set the lid all over, almost all the way up to the brow bone. Set it with that shade. But for one dollar, you really can't beat the um, formula. I mean, it's really buttery. And the pigment is really good as well. So after I do that, what I like to do is go in with the darker shade and I'm going to take it, this one right here, and I'm just going to pop this on the outer V here like this. And I do like to stamp it into the crease because then what I'll do is I'll go back with a bare brush and I'll blend it out. And I am bringing the color up 
like a little higher than I normally would because I do have hooded eyes. So like you might not need to bring it up as high, but I always feel like I need to. And like I say in all of my videos, this right here is going to be cleaned up. So it's not going to look like that at the end. What I'm going to do is take my bare blending brush here. And I'm just going to gently take some time blending and softening that up. Guys, I am so excited for Halloween. I cannot wait to start practicing with some Halloween looks. I do have a whole week of Halloween themed ideas. Really excited to work on those. I do have a um, like a collaboration going on um, with 31 people who I will feature in my um, last video of the month that'll come out on the 31st. Now, lastly, what I'm going to do before I move on to my face is I am going to take this shade here. It's kind of a shimmer shade and I am just going to pop that on. There we go. I always go in with my finger because it makes it pop so much more. All right, same thing on the other eye. And then I'm going to go back in with that bare brush and just blend it out. Blend it into the crease. Make it have more of a smooth transition. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the shimmer off of my fingers, clean up the face, go into some face makeup here. And like I said, I'm going to clean up around the eyes. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my primer, which today I'm going to use the Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Primer. Um, the reason I'm using this one, it was also um, under $5. And the other primers, I don't usually have a terrible amount of primers open at one time. So the ones that I currently have, um, I have this one, and then I have two primers that I've actually gotten in either a Boxy or an Ipsy that are not like necessarily affordable. So I'm using this. They have this one, and then they have two other ones there at the Dollar General in the Believe Beauty line. So I'm using this one today. And then... I will go in with the Believe Beauty Foundation. Now, I basically thought about this one for a while because I do have, like, the Maybelline. I have, um, what do I have? Maybelline, Physician's Formula. I um, think I have a Revlon one. But really, I really do like this foundation. 
I have grown to really like it. Um, the packaging is so cute. You got your glass bottle here with your gold pump. Um, and I just really like it. So for $5, I believe it was at least one of the most affordable ones. But I just really couldn't pass it up, you know, when it came to doing this video. Because I like it so much and it is of the most affordable ones that I have. Okay. And does anybody else feel like they are painting their face when they put on foundation with a brush? I always do. All right. So then what I always like to do once I get it on, of course, I'm going to take a look in the mirror and see how she's looking. Okay. And then what I like to do is take my sponge and just stamp it in just to give it that extra lock. I feel like it really helps set things in place the way I want them. All right. So now, this is how she's looking. This is how she's looking. All right. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go back in with that Believe Beauty Concealer. And I am going to pop it here and here and down the nose chin and I always like to use the blender for this or the sponge I should say All right. Okay, so now that I've used that, I am going to go in with my e.l.f. Perfect Finishing HD Powder. And I like to use this one because it is brightening for me. So I always like to use it under my eyes to really set that concealer. All right, and it is translucent, so um, this powder, by the way, I got it for $4 when I got it, so it's not bad at all. All right, so I'm going to check myself out again, all right, and then I'm going to go in with my bronzer going to use today the LA Colors Bronzer. This is in the shade Beach Babe. This was $3. Um, I believe I purchased it at a Dollar General or a Dollar Tree. Well, not a Dollar Tree because those are all, everything there is a dollar. But definitely a Dollar General, if nothing else. And what I like to do also when I do my bronzer is go in a little bit too because I don't want to have like a straight line because that just doesn't look natural, you know, when you have a straight line of bronzer. 
So I do like to just go in a little bit more in here and a little less here. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go in with my blush. So for the blush, I'm going to use the Profusion Blush Palette. This was $5. You have six different blush options. Three are shimmer blush and three are matte. So I'm going to go in with my blush brush. And I think... Um, let me try something here. I'm going to try something that... I don't think that I've tried. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but that's what we're here for. Okay, let me look. I'm not, oh my God. Okay, y'all, <laughs> wow. That is like almost a highlighter. Let me see. Let me take some of this Delight over that. See if I could tone that down just a bit. Okay. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful on the other side with that bronzy color. So one thing I'm going to say, this is a shade that I haven't used, and it's definitely very highlighty. So like, you've got this side, which looks nice, but I put way too much on this side, and you can see it emphasizing some texture here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dab some of this Delight over this color too, just to kind of make the shades match a little better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with, ah, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I think I showed this trick one other time before. But basically, if you go too heavy, you can take a powder and tone some of the pigment down. Wow, see, it just works so good. Okay. As far as toning that pigment down, see, there we go. Okay. So let me look in my mirror and see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, on this side with some of the powder just to even the shade. There we go. Now we got some shade match going on. All right. Okay, so note to self, that shade is way too much, but mm, I mean, it's way too much. I'm not loving it, but I will make it work. So, um, let me show you this palette again. So here's the palette. This is the shade that I use that's way too much. The shades, um, I haven't used this one as a blush either. I've used all four of these and they are wonderful. Uh, when I do my full face of Profusion, I'll use those and show you so you get a better idea of what they are having to offer. If you have a deep skin tone, this would probably look beautiful. Um, but for me, I'm just too pale so it looks like... Um, you know, like a little bit too dark. I'm going to also take some pictures and put those on Instagram. So that way you can see what it looks like in natural lighting as well. But so, okay, I was going to go in with this wet and wild highlighter. 
um, which is in the shade Botanic Dream, which looks like that. Um, but I feel like I'm so highlighted, but like, who cares, right? Who even cares right now? Okay. Okay, so this side of my face is about to be so highlighted. Oh my god, okay. Alright, so we got that. Which, I do like this, but the shade, I don't wear it very often because it is pink. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with... Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash False Lash Effect. All right. I mean, look at that. I love this. This was like $5. And I like it better than any of my high-end mascaras that I've used. All right, so we got that, we got that. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead quickly and um, go in with a affordable lip product. So I am going to use this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. I got this for $3 at CVS. All right, and then lastly, I will go in with the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. All right, and then as you know, if you watch my videos, once I do setting spray, I always go in and lock it in. All right, so that is my full face of affordable makeup products video. Um, if you like the video, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below on what other full face type of videos you would like to see. That way I have some idea of what, you know, things interest you. Don't forget to head over and check out my giveaway alert video so you can be entered to win that Violet Voss palette and the Hank and Henry eyeliner. Um, subscribe to my channel. As always, I hope you guys have a great day and bye.